This episode of The Direction is brought to you by Alabama 811. Know what's below, call before you dig. We're gonna go try to find us a quick shad spawn, see if we can get us a top water bite going. Now, have you, have you caught them in here pretty good over the years? Yeah. <laughs> Look yeah. at him! <laughs> Now that's a studly mudly, baby. That's what we come to you fowler for. That's a showstopper. When they eat and swim jig like that. You're putting on the Reed on. Ledford show right now. Look at this. Oh! God dang. Mm. Oh, God <laughs> I wouldn't have thought I'd have done that to you. I'll be honest with you. I wouldn't, I sure wouldn't have thought I'd have done it to you. Everyone has a story. Sometimes it's about catching monster bass. Now that's a studly mudly, baby. And sometimes it's about life's lessons. Every story is as unique as the person who tells it. So join us as we make some new friends, reunite with some old ones, catch a few fish, and share a story or two. I'm Mark Stowe, and this is The Direction. When you think of legendary bass fishing, Lake Eufaula on the Alabama Georgia line is always at the top. Back in its heyday, it was the hub for all things bass fishing in the South. It was a place where you could go and meet one of the most innovative and creative bait manufacturers in the industry and go catch the biggest limit of bass in your life, all in the same day. And for this reason, Mark Stowe is headed down south to meet up with local star Reed Ledford and see what this legendary lake is all about. We're going to be on Lake Eufaula this morning. We're going to be with a buddy of mine, Reed Ledford. This guy I met quite a few years ago. Great young man. Going to be a whole lot of fun to fish with. We're going to be seeing if we can start out catching some good old morning topwater fish. All right, so how far are we at? Up there to where that, that birdhouse is on that point. The birdhouse on the point, right here to the left? Yeah, on the right. On the right. Oh, I see the birdhouse now. Or whatever kind of house that thing is. Or a pole with something on it, ain't it? It's gonna be a fish house. Fun, it's game on. We've we been waiting for this day. We claimed it was gonna happen, didn't we? It's going to. I'm talking about you getting in the boat with me. Oh, I know. We've been talking this too long. For a while now. What area of the lake we in down here? We're about mid lake. This here is Chihuahua Creek. And this, this is, we're about in the middle of the lake right here. Okay. So we're midway on Lake Eufaula. This is the first time I've been on Eufaula. Really? Mm-hmm. I hope it shows out. Well, I've heard mighty good things about it. It's good. Hey, let's just start fishing him. We won't even go to the pole. I like a guy that says, let's start right here. Now, have you, have you caught him in here pretty good over the years? Yeah. That's, that's, where, that's where a 25 pound sack come out of. Oh boy, I'm ready, let's do it. That early morning bite is on, gentlemen. And I, I'm assuming we grabbing buzz baits. Is that what we gonna do? Right off the bat? I'm gonna probably swim a jig real quick and I'll let wait. you throw that buzz bait. If I get tired of your trolling motor and driving, I'll just, I'll jump in, I'll just... If I stick a denali rod in your face, I'm sorry, but. Ain't nothing like the sound of the old buzz bait of a morning. It's hard to beat. Oh! oh God dang. Mm. God <laughs> I think he's got the morning jitters and in a hurry. <laughs> I got some ibuprofen. Oh man. Are you used to somebody fishing up here with you? Nope. I get decked myself. Oh my lord. 
You might have let me get back on trailer motor so I stay in front of your right hand. I wouldn't have thought I'd have done that to you. I'll be honest with you. I wouldn't, I sure wouldn't have thought I'd have done it to you. But... Good stuff, man. Oh, whoa, whoa, my. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, <laughs> so they like frogs. There we go. Where are you waking them up? A little bit in. Look at here. One of us is waking up. Come on, Reed. You're going to make your debut right here. You, you're making yourself worthy. A little old bit in, but it's the first one. Number one. This segment was brought to you by Jinko Fishing. It's all about the action. On this episode of The Direction, we are learning what not to do on Lake Ufaula. Fish the prettiest stretches of grass you could find in the whole lake and only catch one fish. The good thing is I always have an excuse why I didn't catch fish though, because it's always somebody else that I'm with. Huh. Today was nothing but some small bass and one big headache. But I'm hoping for a little less pain tomorrow and a few more bites to see what Lake Eufaula is really all about. We're gonna go try to find us a quick shad spawn, see if we can get us a top water bite going. We good to go? We're gonna try it. Here we go. Come on, we gotta get going this morning. Gotta get going. Son, I'm Mountain Dude up and ready Ooh. to rumble. Yeah, I ain't had as much Mountain Dew as you have. Oh, I done drank that whole glass plus the thing of <laughs> chocolate milk. Yeah. Good biscuits. I ain't had near the near the Mountain Dew you've had. I done torqued it down, baby. I sit on five and six hours sleep day after day. I'm ready to be ready to run. Oh look at it, baby. I ain't never had this much hair. COVID-19 hair. <laughs> game time. We can't lose no time today, Mr. Reed Ledford. Look at you. Oh, that's against code in this boat. You know what's going to happen today, don't you? Big Daddy going to hit my bait this morning. That's about the ugly. Some boy. Oh, right? yeah. I'll just go easy, piece away in there. I ain't got hurt. I ain't got oh, right Let's go easy. They're way up there. Where? I went up back close to that grass. I didn't see nothing blowing up. Yeah, they was right there on the edge of that man. I'm on him now. Oh, that's a big one. I ain't doing I ain't throwing in there, but come on, Reed. Where's my where jig at? Got her. Oh yeah, bird dog him. There we go. You gonna that's a good one too. Look at you boy. That's a good yeah, good head turner there, baby. Now yeah, chasing this morning early top water bite. Look at this. Ooh, baby. Maybe easy. Whoa, that's a studly. That's how we do it in Alabama. <laughs> now that's a studly mudly, baby. 
That's what we come to you falling for. <laughs> now we talking. Hey, we're redeeming ourselves this morning. We can roll. Yesterday was a little tough on us. But they blowing up around here this morning. Is that on the frogs? Oh yeah. Hey, that's a showstopper. That's when you see the blow up, you call the shot, and you throw in there and you catch them. Ah, oh, you made me feel good right there. Ain't nothing like a morning bite. Before we come down here for it, what you said we was gonna come after a morning bite. Once the morning gets done, it gets a little tough. Ooh, look at you. Look at me. What my hammer threw him up there. That fish unloaded on it, baby. Look at him, boy. He's skiing him to the boat. Ooh, baby. Hey. Hey. When they eat and swim a jig like that. Hey. That's what you so, want. You're putting Choking on the Reed on. Ledford show right now. Look at this. You wouldn't get caught out on the lake without your favorite bait. So why would you get caught digging without calling 811? Are you getting ready to start your own digging project? Be sure to call 811 and get your underground utilities located. It's the law and it's free. Here, try this. This segment is brought to you by Ranger Boats still building legends one at a time. Oh, yes sir, baby. It's coming together, I called it this morning. I said the Mountain Dew, and we was gonna be hammered down. And you is showing what the hammer is about. Hey, what me and you's gonna have to swap? No, we ain't. Oh yeah, we are too, because I'm gonna knock you in the head right. it comes up. Yeah, we gotta swap, because of Look at him! <laughs> Keep awesome. oh, really. Look at that good. <laughs> oh, so <sorry>. choke the tape. <laughs> Woo! Oh my lord, look at it. I can't even breathe so much fun. How many more cans in a row you gonna do this, boy? I hope quite a few more. Can we power pole down? Yeah, might as well. Sure, why not? Right there, throw Where? right there and straight in front of you. Where? See that grass stand moving huh? right there in front of you? That's right there, where that big lily pad is right there. Right there? Uh, a little bit to the left. So you try to jiggle it while you're reeling? Yeah, yeah, I, it'll sit there and the whole time that jig will just shake on top of the water up close. So you're just trying to shake it like this as you're reeling? That's right. Okay. I'm, I'm all about learning something, Reed. I, I think I'm good at something, and I ain't never good at it. I gotta learn. No, I, ain't, I ain't good at nothing. Oh, no, 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 son. You, you good. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. You, you, you good, real you good heard, in my book. You ever heard that old blind hog of find an acre every now and then? That's the story of my life. Yeah, but, but that old hog, you have nose nowhere to go. No. <laughs> The good Lord leads me in the right direction most of the time. Hey, man, to that. Look at that. And speaking of that, look what happened right there, son. Woo! <laughs> Baby. That's a chunk right Mr. there. Mr. Reed Ledford, you are making this look like a no-go. <laughs> Dude, look how fat that fish is. So I'm having so much fun that I ain't even put a fish in the boat. Lord have mercy. We come to you follow to chase a morning bite and here it is, a shad's phone. You look for some birds. You see some blow up and, and you, you just, just go to on, them. And you're just sitting on a patch of isolated grass out here just having a ball. I'll tell you what, this is a morning. It has been, it has been a morning now, oh. for sure. And we ain't even done. Well, I'm about to do the nasty weapon, boys. I may not be good with this, but I got one bait I can throw through this. As me's can catch them on it. You know, sometimes old boy got to do what he knows. 
how to do. Oh, don't even understand. You don't even understand. I ain't even got a rod heavy enough to throw my bait on. <laughs> if I hook one on this, boys, we gonna have to go, we gonna have to go four wheel driving for him. <laughs> we gonna have to go get him. Yeah, because I got him on a, a limber stick. And there he is. I told you, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. That's right. Look That's a good one too. Look at there, boys. I had to get the bait that I know how to throw in my hands. And the first cast. Look at there, baby. Oh, yeah. Hey, I might catch the babies of the bunch compared to Ledford, but damn, they're dandies. Woo, baby. Look oh, right there. I'm telling you, sometimes you just gotta throw what you know how to throw. And right there is a perfect example sometimes why you don't have to throw the same bait as the other guy. Sometimes it's good even though they're getting bit to grab a different bait and start throwing it. Man, confidence is a key. key it's whatever. Is. Whatever you feel like. I don't you know can that this it. rod's the rod to be throwing. I'm gonna have to switch rods here and get my spinner bait rod out. Son, I'm loving it. I hey, tore, all we up. doing is showing how you can take one rod and fish any bait you want to fish with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you follow Alabama, folks. It's it. The month of what is it, mate? <laughs>
My granddaddy's one of them people that we always had a farm. And I was always going to the farm, and I had a little craftsman lawnmower at the farm. Three or four farm ponds there, and I'd ride from pond to pond on that little craftsman mower and fish during the day while my granddaddy was, you know, baling hay and doing stuff like that. And Man, man Emma, they, like you said, you know, where your granddaddy and you went on the way to school and you'd be oh, late. Yeah. Well, I was supposed to be at school and some days I was at the farm <laughs> helping him. Just the stuff you can't replace, you, you know? can't, You can't replace it. I mean, there's not. You really can't. And there's something special about a grandparent. Oh, man, yeah. So Lake Eufaula is definitely legendary and the fishing showed why. But when you think about legendary, well, I think that title belongs to our grandfathers or those that have brought us to the outdoors. For me, the legend is my granddaddy taking me to the farm, walking down to the farm ponds, catching big fish with me. When you think about Reed, sharing the stories of his granddaddy, taking and on his way to school, stopping. It's supposed to be at school, but they're out fishing up a farm pond. And it's, so when you use the word legendary, I believe that title belongs to our granddaddies and our grandpas and anyone who has introduced us to the great outdoors and fishing. The Direction is brought to you by 811. Know what's below, call before you dig. We would also like to thank these fine partners. Closed captioning is brought to you by USA North. Call 811 before you dig.